Red tide and toxic green algae devastated coastal communities across the state this year, killing fish and driving away visitors. Sure did, but the cause of the outbreak can be traced right back to Central Florida. And as investigative reporter Heath dis Christopher Heath discovered, what we do here has a downstream effect miles away. The shrimp are hopping at Palm Bay bait and tackle. But that is about all the action. Fishing in the area isn't what it used to be. I would say that it's gotten worse in the last 10 years. For a quarter century, Cindy McKee has owned this shop. Recently, she's watched as other bait shops up and down US-1 have gone out of business. People don't want to eat the fish they catch in the waters here. And the situation caused by the algae is getting worse. That water is coming from the mid-Florida region. Indian River County Commissioner Tim Zork watched red tide creep up his coastline this year, fed by nutrients, some local. They eventually all meander, eventually will come together. Some and not. End up. Central Florida is part of the problem. This is my front yard. Santa and his little bear friend here are about 65 miles from Palm Bay. But what I do in my yard has an effect on the coast. If I over fertilize, that runoff has to go somewhere. And eventually it makes its way to the coast and feeds the algae. 60% of the water going into Lake Okeechobee comes from the Kissimmee River Basin. But that basin runs all the way into north of downtown Orlando. Orange County does have a fertilizer ordinance on the books, but says its focus is education, not fines, saying it hasn't issued any fines this year. Meanwhile, back out in Palm Bay. If you keep them cold, they stay a little bit more dormant. The day and the fishing season is winding down for Cindy. She admits she isn't sure how many more she's got. Christopher Heath, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.